likes the how they teach us. I love how we can um, work together with teamwork and learn a lot. I'm not a kid, I'm a parent. So I love that you can um, build with um, your friends. I'm also a parent. So like our coach is this parent and this um, Gaderi. We're excited. We're ready. I really like how they were teaching us and we got a lot done. So this is our practice space. I can fix the robots and I'm not really good of a coder. I have to go straight and make a 90 degree turn and send this claw forward. In the beginning, he had some problems, but I did fix him. Now he's like really doing really great now. And if we won, win, we got a trophy. It'll be really fun. I think we're gonna win 100%. Mobile robotics are everywhere. From factories to hospitals to delivery trucks. They're handling materials, welding, assembling, you name it. And here's the kicker. The global mobile robotics market is exploding. That means more jobs, more tech, and the huge demand for people who can build, run, and fix these machines. But there's a problem. We've got the robots, but we don't have enough people who know how to work with them. So when do you start learning? Would you believe it starts with Legos? This is our third year of having a robotics program here at our school. We are here with our robotics team and they are getting ready for our competition in a few weeks. I've never really done like competing with robots or coding before. Our kids love it. These students right now have built robots. Do I miss being outside at lunch? Not really. Do I think we could be the sixth graders? Maybe. I think experience is on my side. The robotics thrill makes up for it. It's just really exciting to see that they're developing skills. They're coding and they're practicing their skills on the mats to see how many points they can score. What do I like about robotics is the coding. I'm a code that is basically to double check to make sure that at the competition, all we have to do is copy it down. They're so engaged, they barely know I'm there. You know, they're glued to their mat, they're glued to their robot, they're glued to the computer. They have a coding program through LEGO that we're using. They have to figure out distance, they have to figure out speed. So this is a code for the octopus one. They have to have their robots do different maneuvers. So you have to go straight back so you can hit the yellow thing on there. Being able to push, pull. You have to build and design your robot to your liking and make it so it can do certain missions. So there's like this little octopus. You put it on that and then your robot has to push it off. If I were in the rot robotics class competing, I don't think I would do very well. <laughs> For each task, there's a point value. Knocking the octopus off into the sea is um is 20 points. And I'm doing a bonus 10 points. And if you can get it over there, that's an extra 10 points, so it's a bonus. That seems pretty simple, but there, if you look at the mat, there are a lot of different obstacles that are in their way. I like building and then making that move to complete certain activities. So their robot is not usually just going in a straight line. It's gotta go around all these different Lego builds that they have. Like launching a shark a few inches. And they add up the points as they complete the task. They also have to be able to do it in a certain time limit, which also gets very stressful. I feel nervous, anxious, and excited at the same time. <laughs> hey, like the video! And don't forget to subscribe. This is our practice space, and so we're just getting set up after coming after school, but the kids are gonna practice on our um, mat so that they can perfect all those little idiosyncrasies before we have competition. We have to change out our pieces every like round for each claw that we have. I keep telling the fifth graders to have their arms stay down for longer, but they won't listen to me, so their code keeps failing for that one. So we hit the thing, but then the claw didn't stay on it, so then it spinned off, but it's this push thing doesn't go down, it goes up and it doesn't work. So I have to make sure it goes down and then push it in. It's my fault, I need to position it closer so then it works again. Coding and getting them to do little missions and everything, it's pretty neat.
How to do robotics. Step one, we build the robot. Are you going to beat the other teams or what? I think. Step two, we code the robot. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Step three, we place the robot on the field and we run the code. What place are you getting today? At least third. First, we're looking forward and we're going to win, no matter how we place. Would love to get first place. I'm going to be really confident. Step four, crush the competition. They did really well. For the first team, they did awesome. Our first two teams have gone into competition. Our other two teams are here making those last minute adjustments. They went pretty well, well, not that good. We got a three out of four on our um, niceness or whatever, being nice to each other, because some were, I don't know, getting mad at each other for the placing wrong, but otherwise it was fine. In the actual competition arena, we have multiple schools who are competing against each other in multiple fields. So the competition is crazy in there because it's going all on at the same time. So I think uh, maybe 15 schools that have come in so there's a great collaboration and connections for I think all the kids to see how well Orange Unified is supporting them. I know there's some nerves happening because some of our kids haven't competed yet. When you were out there, did you feel those nerves? Or they, what happened? They kind of disappeared. Yeah, this is weird. They kind of disappeared like poof. I'm excited to get our fourth graders into the competition room so that they can kind of see what it's about and get them onto a mat. You ready? Always ready. How did it go? How did it go? Um, 124. 124? Yeah. Is that good? Could be better. We slide. We slide. We slide. We slide. Guess what's happening right now? What? Pizza. Pizza. I love pizza. I'm gonna be filmed and doing good. What do you guys think about oh pizza? Oh my god, I love, I love pizza. pizza. I love oh pizza. God. My favorite pizza is, I think, pepperoni. mishap and we had to we lost a precision token and then the shark didn't exactly go in the circle but I guess they kind of counted it maybe I don't really know and then we lost our other precision token because the robot got tangled up in the equipment again but that was fine and then it ended up being great we cooked and then we ate if you want to see more robotics check the link in the description below for more great videos so we're in our final heat we've had two of our teams already compete i think the highest score we've gotten so far is 129 which is awesome they've worked out the kinks from the first two rounds and so now this is it after this is awards and we see where we place amongst the other schools my fourth grade girl team they um took from round one to round two went back and recoded their robot so that it would travel across the mat without being picked up in a matter of 20 minutes so they killed it all of them are doing an awesome job
position go? Well, it didn't go that well. You did the three runs. It was the highest score of your three runs. It went okay. I mean, I think we got 104 points. For the first competition, we got 100. And for the second, we got 109. And then for the third, we got 104. So we didn't do that well. In third place, Eagles won from Serrano. Not I don't think we'll place. Some got like 120 about. Second place. Running Springs 3! I mean, we did okay. It wasn't our best, but we pretty we did pretty well. I think we could have done a little bit better. The Gear Girls, I think they might place because they got 129. I think they might place third or second. And with the highest point, first place, Jordan Black! I'm feeling a little sad that we didn't get in the top three and a little sad that we won't be able to do it again, but it was fun while it lasted and I hope the future generations are going to have a blast. We didn't win, but I'm so happy about my team and me trying as hard as we can and we, I'm just happy about that. I feel a little bit great because I think next year if I join, um, we could win at least Third. It was amazing. I loved it. I'm feeling good. We all worked together great. It felt so good. We got to work together. It was fun. We got to build, code with Legos. It was a really fun experience. Am I going to do robotics next year? Yeah, I think I am. Because I just really like the feeling of playing with robots and stuff. It's fun for me. What I would say if you're thinking about robotics, um, it's really fun to do. You get to work with your friends. It takes a little bit of time and patience, but it's it's definitely worth it. Of course, we'd love to win and be number one, but honestly, we're winners already. I believe that these skills are only going to develop as they, as they grow. And, you know, these are future engineers, future doctors, future inventors. Enthusiasm for coding and science and all of the things that come with robotics is really awe-inspiring. Play is where it all begins. Creativity, curiosity, and joy. And those are the exact traits driving the world of skilled careers. From robotics to construction, healthcare to manufacturing, the world needs problem solvers, builders, makers, doers. And as we saw today, that spark starts early. Who knows what the careers of the future will hold, and I believe that these skills are being developed with their robotics. It's not winning or losing that matters, it's the fun that matters. One, two, three, here we go! What I love about robotics, well, is that you get to code with robots and experience new things. I'm a teacher. Uh, I'm a teacher. What I love about robotics is how it gives you a thing to communicate with different languages. I've loved Lego since I was five and I love creating and building stuff. It feels like a different language when coding. And I love coding. Even though you want to get first, you don't have to. Like, just fun. Yeah! Oh, I gotta go. To see more coverage of robotics and automation, check out the videos below. One's a visit where we go in depth with various experts in the field of robotics, the other is the SkillsUSA National Competition in Robotics. See you next time.